Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to do a quick guide on how to reduce your latency on your mouse. A lot of people now are playing with wireless mouse and I receive a lot of questions on my Twitch and YouTube. So how you can improve this. So first of all, let's start with your dongle. A lot of dongle that you will have, uh, they are like USB that you can plug on your computer, but also you have an adapter. So the, the goal here is to have your USB dongle the nearest from your mouse. So put your dongle on your mouse pad. So you're gonna make sure that you have the low, lowest latency possible. It's super important to do. Another thing that you can do, we're gonna open the um, software of my mouse. So it really depends again, it can work on any mouse. It's, all the software are different. The first thing that you really need to do, make sure that you update your firmware from your receiver and also your mouse, some mouse, some brand, you can't uh, update the receivers, some you, you can. So just make sure that you have the latest version. You wanna make sure that it's all good over there. Also, if you're using optical switches, I really recommend to use your debounce time at zero MS. If they are mechanical, question of preference, maybe use two, three, four MS. You wanna enjoy up this uh, debounce time at zero with optical switches. Another thing that I recommend is your battery. Uh, depending on the mouse that you're gonna use, they sometimes after like, like when you're lower than 50%, 40 or 30, depending on the brand, uh, they're going in echo mode. You don't want to do that. It's some kind of like energy saver. And sometimes you're not getting your uh, Earth's, uh, your polling rate like you're supposed to and stuff like that. So make sure it's always like charge or you can deactivate it sometimes in the setting. I think with Logitech, you can do that. So super important to keep an eye on it. Also, if we're talking about performance, so as you can see right now, you have the polling rate. So some mouse, when you buy it, like my, my mouse, my Pulsar, by default, they will be at 1000 Hertz pulling rate, but you can buy a dongle of um, a 4000 uh, Hertz dongle. So that's pretty cool, honestly. Um, you're not necessarily see it if your monitor is at 60 Hertz, uh, 120 Hertz, but honestly, with my OLED 240 Hertz, I see a difference when I'm using 4000 versus 1000. And again, uh, it can cause issue on older game if they're running like older engine and stuff like that. But for sure, if you're playing CS2, Valorant, Fortnite, stuff like that, 4000 is pretty good. I know some mouse now, they're using 8000. It's pretty crazy. If you want a good polling rate without any issue, honestly, just use 1000. Uh, and yeah, so super important because sometimes people are buying like a 4000 polling rate. Uh, Earth's uh, mouse, but by default it's set at 1000, so they're not even using it. So make sure that you're using the maximum bullet rate that you can. Another thing that I want to mention, I'm not a big fan, but with some brand, I had like some issue when I had like a uh, RGB light on my mouse. So if you don't really care about your RGB and you just want battery and performance, honestly, deactivate those stuff. Sometimes it's causing issue, it adds a little bit of some latency it can it really depends some people prove that but uh if you want to make sure just deactivate it one more thing that i can recommend is write your mouse and go to your change the mouse pointer display over there and this is not about latency it's more about your muscle memory the end pointer precision make sure this one is unchecked in some software you can do it by yourself and some you can't like the pulsar one you need to use windows so this one is really important you don't, you don't want to mess up with your muscle memory with some acceleration so when you move fast it's faster when it's slower it goes slower you always want the same speed uh, on your pointer so super important to deactivate that if you're playing fps game or any game honestly but any FPS, I think it's worse. After that, when you did that, press OK. So this is pretty much it, guys, for my mouse uh, guide. If you have any question, just comment in the YouTube section. Make sure that you're posting, uh, first of all, your question and also what type of mouse that you're using, the brand and the model. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.